Okay, so I'm back again. Um, earlier, uh, a couple days ago, I did a video of how to get some curls in a wig, a synthetic wig, like when your curls won't stay. Um, I used some Velcro little aluminum rollers. One thing that I noticed is that Velcro is really rough on synthetic hair. And I was finding that even though I had good curls, they were really frizzy. And I was having to kind of control a lot of flyaways with a lot of wig hairspray and stuff like that. And it was just um, making my wigs frizzy prematurely. So um, now there is a way to eliminate frizz, and that is to get your flat iron and straighten your wig. And it will help it to be less tangly. Now, uh, it will make it straight, completely straight again, but it will get rid of the frizz. So, uh, I actually experimented some more. And I found another way to put curls in that is a lot less damaging. It still uses heat, um, but it's pretty quick and convenient. And I really like it. Um, I've already got my bangs pinned up. This, incidentally, is the same wig that I used in my last video. This is Brick by Sensationnel. It has been highly altered. I have straightened it and cut it so it's no longer you know, four feet long. And, you know, I, you know, I'm kidding. But uh, anyways, I have some hot rollers. These are by Con Air. Um, they are flocked. There's, um, they're like, they're soft like velvet. Um, I actually ordered these off of Amazon. They, they end up being about $25 or $30 for a set. I've had these for like three years. Um, but they're still available because I looked them up. But anyways, you can probably use any hot rollers. So, I was noticing that when I take a hair to curl it, okay, and I use my curling iron. These don't really hold a curl. I can sit here and count it. I like to hold them for about mm, 10 or 15 seconds. Maybe closer to 15. But look, with the curling iron, there's like no curl. There's nothing. So, a lot of people are having this problem with synthetic wigs. So, what I'm doing... Ugh. Open up my hot rollers. Ugh. I am curling my hair. Now my hot rollers are behind me, sitting on a chest because of where my cord is at. I have to plug it in. I've got a, a steampunk chest at the foot of my bed, and that's where I put my stuff but anyways um okay so i've got i'm keeping this flat so i can get a nice spiral curl i'm gonna hold that for about 10 seconds maybe 15. okay that's like 12 seconds okay so i've got this I'm going to go ahead, it's, the hair is hot, I'm making sure it's straight, I'm going to get my, get my roller here in the same direction that I curled the hair, I'm going to wrap the roller, keep the hair very flat, and you have to work quickly, you know, it takes some practice, but you can go quickly, and then I just roll it up, and these come with this type of clip, put these in place so just like that okay and I have 12 rollers and I'll use all of them I'll use the smaller ones which the one I was rolling this up is one of the smaller ones um, where'd my brush go? that's such a mess okay and I'm taking smaller pieces since I have more rollers this time and this goes a lot quicker anyway, but I'll go through over my whole head doing this. What I do is I'll curl four rollers on this side with the smaller rollers. And then that roller set, I don't know if you noticed, it's got eight medium-sized rollers and four large ones. I will save 
the four large ones for the, the bottom ends of the hair. But yeah, so while the hair is hot. Now I have tried using just the hot rollers by themselves and they don't work. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because the hair is cold and I'm putting this hot roller into cold hair. But for some reason, this combination, getting the hair hot with the hot roller first, and then, I mean, I'm sorry, getting the hair hot with a curling iron first, and then putting it up in a hot roller, seems to work really well. This is a lot easier than my last video where I only had four rollers. Wow, I mean, that alone, having more rollers to use helps because I don't have to use as big a piece of hair. But I just, my main goal in trying this was I wanted something that, for one, so I could use more um, rollers to get, to use a smaller piece of hair. And uh, I also wanted to get away from the Velcro because the Velcro really is damaging on the hair. My son is running around playing with the dogs. I can hear him out there. Hopefully y'all can't hear him. Alright, last one. Uh-oh. Ah, there. I pinched the cord in the curling iron. That's never a good thing. Uh, okay. This is the last one for this side. And then I will get to the other side. Ooh. Oh, those are hot. Those are hot. Okay. And my last one. And now my son's trying to get in. You can't do anything with a five-year-old, I swear. Anyways, okay, so there's this side put up. Um, I will also do the other side off camera, and then I'm gonna let these cool. Um, the trick is to get them to cool to completely room temperature, just cold. And once they're cold, take them out. And I will be back to show you guys that look in just a few minutes. Well. Split second for y'all, a few minutes for me. Okay, so I've got all, all of them up in rollers now. These are all the medium size rollers, and then these right here are all the big ones. Just four big ones, and I think, yeah, four total big ones, eight total small ones. So once it's all dry, I mean dry, wow, can you tell I'm in a hurry? <laughs> once it's cool, I'll pull them down and we should have some really spectacular curls. Uh, even way better than the last video. So, okay, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm back. Okay, so let's see how our curls came out. Mm -hmm. Look, check that out. That is way better than before. That's not even one of the back ones. That, that one fell from up here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Getting some good curls in that. Anyways, look at the curls. Way better. Way better. And then I can take my bangs down. I haven't even tried anything with the bangs yet today. They've just been up. Yep, I just stuck this wig on today just because I was like, eh, I discovered this new method and I want to share it with everyone. So I hope you can see. This is a really long wig. But yeah, check it out. Those are some really good curls, huh? So that is how you get a synthetic wig to hold a curl without dipping it in boiling water because there's no way I was going to put my flocked hot rollers in boiling water. So, so yep. That's how it's done. And there's not, the hair is still soft, and it's not frizzy looking like it is with the Velcro rollers. So, anyways, um, I was on to something with 
the Velcro rollers. Just don't use the Velcro. I mean, you'll have to straighten your wigs a lot more often and start over from scratch to fix them. I do air quotes entirely too often, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me know if you try this method and how it works for you. Um, I hope it helped.